Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday and today I want to talk about some problems that developers seem to cause themselves to make their lives harder. So our team is now answering quite a lot of questions, now not only me but four of us on Twitter, our Discord, YouTube, two channels now, email, Laracast, Stack Overflow and elsewhere and I see a pattern. Quite a lot of questions are about this. I have a situation where I made a decision to use X and now help me to make something else with that X. Like for example, choice of stack. If you choose Lumen to create an API with Laravel, but you want to use something from Laravel, then you make your life harder. Why choose Lumen in the first place if you envision bigger features that include Laravel functionality? Another typical example is naming some things in non-standard way, like relationships with non-English language. And then, of course, Eloquent Magic doesn't work because Eloquent Magic is powered by singular and plural forms of English grammar. Laravel doesn't know anything about singular and plural forms of Spanish or Chinese languages. Or another recent question I saw, how to use Stripe.js with Livewire within tall stack. So yeah, if you choose Livewire as a basis of your project with tall stack, keep in mind that Livewire actually under the hood plays around with JS and overrides a lot of things. And if you try to add some other JS into Livewire, like for example Stripe JS, which is just JavaScript elements, or for example it could be some jQuery library like Siki Editor or Select2 or something, by definition they are in conflict. Of course, you can make it work with something like Wire Ignore, but it's so risky and not bug proof that it makes a developer life harder, it seems. So instead of using Livewire for that particular page, maybe you would switch from Livewire to a proper blade with JavaScript, for example. And these are just a few random examples. There are more. You see the pattern. So developers choose something to use some stack, to use some design pattern, to use some structure, and then they go on forums, Twitter and elsewhere and help guys how to solve this problem with my current situation. So the overall point here is I would advise to stick to defaults as much as possible, to standard Laravel practices to default values for functions, methods, classes, and stuff like that. Choosing the tag stack should be also evaluated with the future in mind. So what features would you need? And does Livewire have all of that? Does Vue.js have the packages that you would need? And stuff like that. So would you agree that sometimes developers themselves make their life harder? Sometimes, of course, unintentionally, but sometimes we all just want to do things our way because we think we know better instead of the default framework stuff or we want to try out the new feature the new package the new design pattern and then in the middle of the project we bump into some issues and then it's kind of our fault about the choices in the first place and of course for our team to answer this question is almost impossible to answer because on forums people expect quick answers code snippets link to some ready-made solution and often in that case it's not really possible you have to roll back part of the code and rethink the architectural solution in many cases so yeah this is the thought don't make your life harder if you can envision something up front that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos